My dear brothers, obviously you see me standing here in the, my office with two brothers from your province. I'm very happy to be here, uh, actually three, the one holding the camera as well. So very happy to be here and I, I, they've asked me to say a word of encouragement to you. I think uh, what I've told them is what I would share with you. Uh, please just remember who we are. We're friars and miners in this world today. Let's remember that there's a, there's a great richness in discovering that what God is doing in our midst between us as brothers. Let's try to discover, let's try to take the road of forgiveness that Pope, that Pope Francis has called us to. He's asked us to, to, to take up the cross and take up the journey of, of, of having mercy on each other, having mercy on ourselves and receiving the mercy from God. I don't know, perhaps the question I'd ask is, why do you think mercy is so important in our lives? And I think the only answer I could give you is because mercy brings us freedom. Freedom to be able to care for each other. Freedom to be able to put the difficulties that we have lived and the, even the pains and hurts that, that perhaps have accumulated over time in our lives, a short life or long life. Actually, mercy allows us to let go of those things and realize that God is greater and God is calling us to something much greater as brothers and as minors in the world today, as lesser brothers. And so I'd like to just invite you, please, believe in yourself. Believe that God believes in you. Believe in, in the, the presence of God in one another as brothers, as I believe in the presence of God. There are three <laughs> brothers gathered here today, including the one holding the camera. I'm convinced that God is at work and alive in your lives. And God is calling us together to live fraternally. It's not easy, we know that. But if it were easy, I wouldn't want to be here. I can go do something else that's easy. It's, it's not a question of being easy. It's a question of being what God is right in my life, in my heart, what's right for us as brothers. This, I think, is what God is calling us to, calling us to this new sense of freedom so that we can take the road again to, to join God's people, especially God's poor and God's suffering, but not to join the road alone, but to go together as brothers, to hold on to each other, and to, to, to allow this to become a strength for us a strength internally for our own spiritual growth, our own prayer life, our private uh, encounter with Jesus, and for us to then do that together and to give witness to the world that there is no power, there's no hatred, there's no division that's stronger than the love that God offers us and that we can offer together to the world as, as Friars Minor. So my wish for you is live, live freely, Live imaginatively, be creative, but do so with each other. Don't abandon the community, the, the fraternal life, and don't abandon your life with God. Let these be our strength and our force today. Let these be the prophetic identity that we are to carry to the world. And I give you special readings. Yesterday morning, I spent almost an hour with Pope Francis, a private conversation, just to talk about the order. And so I bring you his message. He told me, please greet all of the brothers of the order. And so I'm, I'm a messenger, I bring you his message to, to tell you the brothers, tell them to live free, live rooted in God, live rooted in the fraternity, and live rooted in the mission that we're called to, to share with the whole world. And so to all of you, courage, and I wish you a very happy Easter. Thank you.